Um, your first comedian is super cool. She does stand up around New York City. Um, you've probably seen her around if you go to stand up shows, and if not, you should totally check her out. Um, give it on up for Jess Wood. Thank you, thank you. Hello, vagina! <laughs> I'm so happy to be here, I'm so happy to be here. And uh, I have to say, I was running a little bit late because I did get an abortion uh, today. I didn't need it, I'm just exercising that right before it gets taken away. <laughs> Thank you. Um, it's hard not to get pregnant, right, <laughs> ladies? I, I'm, I'm very horny, men are yelling at me on the street all day, I'm like, ugh. You know, you can't really take them up on it when they yell at you. As a woman in New York City, you know when you walk down the street, you have to be blind and deaf, right? You're like, I see nothing, I hear nothing, I walk. Because <laughs> uh, men are out there and they're talking to you. And in New York City, they're really uh, interesting and original catcalling going on out there. Uh, I was wearing the jeans that are cut on purpose and a boy uh, ran up to me and he said, excuse me, miss, miss, it looked like you had been attacked by a lion. So I kind of laughed too, and then he said, I don't even blame him. <laughs> right? It went from like cute to scary in like a second. Like at first we're at the circus, and then you're fucking me behind the tent, you know, like, this is scary. But how do you know if you don't talk to one of these guys? How do you talk to one of the guys that are cat calling you? I had a guy walk by me so fast that I can't believe he actually got these words out. You ever had your pussy sucked by a black man? What? Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> so how do you meet somebody, really, um, and date them? Because then you date them, maybe some blowjobs happen, yeah? People love the blowjobs, I've heard. <laughs> I'm a Jewish girl, so I give a lot of blowjobs. Like me, like me! The Jews are in the house! They know what they're like, oh, my self-esteem, oh, God, ah! I know, what are you going to do? It's hard. When, you, when you're blowing a white guy, I know I can do the, the race shit with you guys because you're Jews, you fucked everybody. Um, we're giving people. Uh, you know, when you're, when you're blowing a white dude, it's like a sporting event, right? He's got your hair. He's like, ah, there's horns and fucking lights. We're like, ah, when is halftime? Sort of violent. They love sports. Um, if you've ever gone down on a black guy, it's kind of like, hey, hey. All right. Oh, you don't have to look up here, girl. You're doing a great job. Is that the voice of a criminal, people? <laughs> Message. Uh, so, uh, I love some frickin', and um, I am also loving my vagina. Uh, I did call her vagina, because she's, uh, I think she's foreign. Um, <laughs> Uh, I love it. I touch her all the time. I masturbate like a man. I do. Uh, not like that. I wouldn't feel a thing. <laughs> this is bullshit. This is bullshit. I hate this. Why do we make our dicks so big when we make dicks, right? Ah, this is my dick. Oh, like that. It's bad news bears. So, uh, yeah, so dating them, blowing them. What else do we do to them? We have to shave our pubers, you know? We got to shave our pubers, wax our pubers. Yeah, we do that. It's getting warm out. Got to trim it up. <laughs> Deal with it. I don't really like that. I'm poor, so I'm bringing the bush back. <laughs> yes! Pow! Because, you know, I've seen a lot of men with beards in the last couple of years. Have you seen these men with beards? I mean, you go to the East Village, it looks like you fucking wound up in a Civil, Civil War reenactment set. You have fucking beards, Civil War. <sighs> they don't want us to have a bush, really? Beards, bush, beards, bush. Come, let us Velcro together. <laughs> I'm pushing heads, ladies. I'm pushing heads. Fuck that. We got enough heads pushed. I'm pushing their head. Push, push it. Push it good. And, and men in the audience, men in the audience, I love you so, so much. Please take your time, won't you? Gentle mental, as my friend would say. Gentle mental, gentle. Okay? <laughs> Okay, so uh, when you're going down on us, please take your time, enjoy, as if you haven't eaten in quite some time. <laughs> Come to dinner hungry. <laughs> Tis so much better. I don't like 
like when guys go down on you and it's like, uh, I call it the Halloween scare. When they're going down on you and you're like, yay! And then they're all, ah, hmm. <laughs> it's all foldy down there. Are you ready or what? <laughs> the folds are delightful. Please, take your time. <laughs> I, I often pray for the period. Every month I pray for the period. And, uh, but, but I use birth control. I do use condoms. I love condoms. And even in a long-term relationship, I use condoms. Uh, there's something about having condoms in a long-term relationship that makes it kind of new again. <laughs> You're on the couch, and he leans over, and he's like, you got a condom? I'm like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> and then we're doing it. I'm like, I can get a disease. This is crazy. <laughs> condoms are good. They're actually the only birth control that I've ever used that has not gotten me pregnant. I've gotten pregnant off the pill, the diaphragm. What am I, 92? And uh, <laughs> stop it. But I have, I've gotten pregnant off of everything. So uh, now I'm just like, pull out, you know, with a, with a condom. Ah, like I'm really, I'm scared. Put it in my mouth, I'm a Jew. So, uh, <laughs> so I love it when I get my period. I, I just love it so much. And I feel like in America, we're kind of shameful I in regards to that kind of stuff, right? We're, we shame us gals a lot about a lot of stuff. We need it, you know, shaved up correctly. Hello, it must be delightful and delicious looking. Um, I don't understand the Hitler stash. All my Jew girls are like, never, I will never put a Hitler stash there. No, not in my oven, what? <laughs> Jews in oven, stop it, fussy. Um, so I actually, I think it's fun to get a little creative with your pubic hair if you don't enjoy the bush, perhaps. I like to just grow it out a little bit and shave in the word, welcome. <laughs> come on in, come on in, spend the night. But I do, I love, I love getting my period, and uh, I feel like, and I use pads. <laughs> nah. Yes, bleeder, I'm a bleeder. And, and now what they've done with pads, so nice, thank you so much, always. Uh, by the way, always, maybe don't use a surfboard as your trademark, fucking surfboard, really? Have you ever worn a pad into the ocean? Oh, this is lovely, oh my God, it's a raft, it's a raft! Come on, always? And they're gonna stick a little fucking wipey in there, like, wipe it up later. Okay. So uh, I don't like them at all. Um, but I do like them better than the seasonal or the seasonique or whatever that was where they were telling us not to bleed, but a couple times a year, that pill that was given to us. They've taken it off the market because I, I think I know some things that had happened. Well, first of all, I had questions for these seasonique, seasonal people. Uh, first question if I'm not bleeding every month, where does the blood go? Hmm. Am I just walking around with one big fucking foot? You know, just like, oh, but I'm only bleeding two times a year. Don't mind the blood foot. <laughs> where is it going? And then once I do bleed, where the fuck are they going to put me? In a padded room somewhere, sponsored by Always. <laughs> ah! Ah! Jackson Pollock, eat your heart out. <laughs> oh, smart crowd. You guys, keep everybody safe out there. Thank you so, so much. That was Jess Wood, guys. feel like you're like the right's worst nightmare. <laughs>